heater hoses. So on these heater hoses, on this video, all I'm going to talk about is kind of how I figured it out and integrated it with the Hemi engine, which it really wasn't too hard. Most of the most of the work was dealt with more looking, making it look good, right? Because the function was pretty simple. Um, I used everything, mostly everything from the Durango side. And then the only thing that wasn't Durango he, heater hoses was what came from the block to the return line and the auxiliary pump. So that, that is pretty much what this video is going to be about, how I made it look good, things that I used to cover the lines, um, how I routed it, um, wiring didn't change for auxiliary water pump, not like that changed, but we're going to go ahead and uh, let's get into this. here come back so that you guys know what I did with the heater hoses I was gonna try to use some of my old hoses where they had some like bends in them and stuff a thumbs out so I could touch the screen um, what I did is I just got some 5 8 and just I'm gonna run them run them with the gradual bend right here because not, nothing's really going to go right here. Because um, I have to move the uh, PCM anyway. And the intake's going gonna, intake's gonna to come here. So, and then as you can see back here, there is the external auxiliary water pump to pump the fluid to the back. And I ran them all down. So here's the stock one for the Durango that normally ran this way. And then on the Durango, the return side came out this way to the side of this side of the engine, about right here. So, um, so obviously if you look at the Durango, I mean the Hemi, they're both on this side. So all I did is I got a 90 with a long tail. And I fished it through and I fished it through here and I just got to cut one more here to connect it to my Y, my Y here. So these are my two returns. This is two from the back. This one, when it connects to this Y right here, that is uh, going to be from the front heater core. It'll be here. And I wanna put um, some heat shield all the way around. I won't do that until the final touches. All right, <clears throat> so I'm putting um, some heat shield on the heater hoses so this is what i bought hot rod sleeve part number 20 40 18. it comes with um these uh what do you call these things Sh heat shrink so you can put on the end so it can clean up the ends um <clears throat> but they only put two in a 10 foot roll so if you're doing short hoses you're gonna have to try to find some or order some off their website extras um, <clears throat> so this is my first heater hose you just kind of you just put it on and I like the black and I was trying to put the orange facing the firewall which is gonna be this one but yeah <laughs> that one I put on backwards so anyway we'll go ahead and do my next hose and my next heater hose and then I'm gonna go ahead and put them on in the car, clean them up. Also, too, is one of the aluminum things. I just got this wire wheel here, cleaned it up, and just wiped it off with <clears throat> brake cleaner or whatever, some just cleaner. All right, so another use for this plastic coat. I'm in this trim coat. So this old bushing. I don't know if you can see how dirty it is. <clears throat> you know, I wiped it off from any grease. I'm just dabbing it in there. And then just... 
this bushing holds the what do you call it the auxiliary water auxiliary water pump right here it goes in here like that so i'm just kind of just kind of touching it a little bit just to put some freshness in it and um that's it and it takes just a little bit because you're just kind of rubbing it on there just a little bit you know then it doesn't look painted or anything looks a little fresh and another use this thing right here awesome all right so i'm gonna kind of upgrade uh update you guys on what's going on back here okay so i got the radiator heater hoses or the heater hoses done so here's one this is the return line back to the engine okay and here is out this one here back there right here that one is out of auxiliary water pump into the heater core in the uh, behind the firewall and then in the back for the back cab here's the elbow this goes to one goes to the back of the cab one goes to the firewall so I'm gonna use some of them I'm using the the nut style like that because for the I don't know what you call them but these little nut styles where they ratchet in I'm gonna do those because I just remember taking it apart having to replace this one time it's just really hard to get in there and move and like get the right time of pliers so these ones you can just loosen you don't have to move them out of the way or anything so loosen them up pull it off there you go um, but then some of them I still used the clamps like here back here for me the clamps are gonna work better. so yeah so it's coming out looking nice and then i gotta go i gotta cover this with heat um the heat shields these two here i got to go buy more uh heat shrink tubing right now it's actually where i'm gonna go head out so that's the update on what i'm doing okay so when i bought some heat shrink tubing i bought an inch that shrinks down to half inch and then I bought one and a half inch that shrinks down to three and a quarter I bought these this one for the smaller tubes and this one for the bigger tubes so what I did is on the one and a half inch one I just cut I don't know about the same length and it's just like the other ones you know you just slip them on about half here half there and then um just heat I use my heat gun shrink it on um, on these tight bends I noticed that they'll bun bind up like this so I put a little slit in it and hopefully it'll if I can get it with one hand hopefully I can get the end to shrink a little bit so it doesn't have a bulge but try it that way and I'll show you guys what it looks like okay guys so I think some of the adjustment that I'm making on this is on these hoses is I still gonna use the shrink wrap but what I'm gonna what I'm using is this heat tape here and I'm gonna tape the end from like here down to about here so that this sticks to the hose um, because what I'm finding out is that sometimes this will slip out of this, the sh heat shrink wrap when you're working with the hose and moving it around and stuff it'll do that so I'm gonna tape it tape it down and then use a heat shrink to cover this heat tape so that you don't see it but then you also get heat protection also at the ends where the heat shield tape or the heat shield sheath is not 
there. So, yeah, so I did that on, the, on one, and uh, it seems like it works better because it'll clamp. It'll heat shrink down a lot quicker and smoother and because this tape is holding it down. Okay, so I got the heater hoses on, okay. Um, what I do want to kind of talk about is when you're doing the swap, save all these types of fittings that have hoses, that hold hoses and stuff because you're going to, you can use them. It doesn't always have to be in the same spot, right? So I'm going to use this right here because it's going to kind of hold these off of the firewall. I'm going to go to the junkyard and get another one of these to put right there. Okay. Um, so just so that, um, yeah, somewhere either this one or that one, I'll have to play with those hoses a little more, but you save these types of things. And then there's another one too that I have is one like this. So it'll clamp one in and then it'll hold another one, you know, save those, right? Cause you don't know how you're going to use them when you're going to use them become useful anyway so i'm gonna set this here i'm gonna put this on like that so it seems like it pinches the hose too much this one's probably not the right size um so hmm i don't think that's what it's probably for some of the smaller hoses it'll work but i don't want it to pinch like that but it does secure it, you know? So, and then one of the things is I want to be able to get this off of the ground too. I mean, off of the firewall. So I got to use something here to get that butt. I don't know. I want to use something like this, but that doesn't squeeze the hose so much. I don't know. Yeah, I'm about to get bigger ones of those. Let's see if I can find some at the junkyard. Okay, so I didn't notice it when I was originally putting it on, but you notice how it's touching the fuel rail here? So what I'm gonna do is cut this off about a thumb length and that'll put it down or keep a thumb length of the curve so that I can at least put that on and it'll be set close against the firewall. So I'm gonna trim those now. So here's the final fitment of the heater hoses. I've been running them for, I've been driving a car for a while now, but the final thoughts on it, um, it looks good. So I ended up using these connectors here, right? There's the Y, these are the two return lines from the back, from the front. Um, and then this is the end line that goes to the auxiliary pump that goes to the front to the back. As you see there, I use those connectors there to hold it. And then, and then there you go. It's a little dirty now because it's been windy, but that is the final fitment. And it all works. And there you go. So using that tape underneath the heat shrink worked out really good i just used a thicker heat shrink on them and that worked out a lot better and um but everything's running good the heater in the front works um but the one to the rear doesn't for some reason so i don't know what if that's a more of a electrical issue or not but i'm not worried about that yet um i'll have to troubleshoot all the little things so here is the conclusion is there anything that i would have done different to be honest on this this one no i really liked how it turned out how it goes through the back of the firewall i really liked how it turned out i don't think i would have done anything different i really liked it um yeah i didn't have to do a lot of fabbing on it to be honest with you I mean, everything else is everything is pretty much the Durango, you know, 
set up except for these two lines and that's it we just i just ran these two lines into this which goes into like normal right and these hoses what i didn't mention into the in the videos is these hoses here all i all i did is get i got the um, the durango heater hoses with the 90 i just got a 90 with that uh i forgot the size it's been a while and ran it you know get a 90 with the long piece and that's all i did and i just cut down the length of that short part to fit it and you know, it all works good um stays cool heater works it's all running good so